Here we go, SparkNote style, okay? This is uh, video one of two, video study guide for the seventh grade standard in geometry involving ratios, proportions, and similarity. I'm gonna go fast and I'm gonna use red so you know I mean business. Here we go. You're looking at pairs of shapes. Are they similar or not similar? Okay. Similar means that all the sides are in proportion. Sometimes you have to rotate, flip, slide, and do any translations. So first we need corresponding sides. Four corresponds to eight. Two corresponds to four. That's a times two both ways. So that's a yes, they're similar. Next, corresponding side, we've got to do a little flip action here. And the two corresponds to the three. The three corresponds to the four. Do they use the same multiplier? No, because two times one and a half is three. Three times one and a third is four. So that's a no. On to the next one. Whew, big complicated shape here. I can tell I would need to rotate 90 degrees and I would need to flip it, right? So once I do that, I have corresponding sides. But uh, let's see if everything works out here. I can see 6 and 9 go together, right? So that's a 1.5 multiplier. And 4 and 5 correspond. But that is not a 1.5 multiplier, is it? It's a 1.25, so this is a no. This one down here, corresponding. So on problems like this, you just want to match up corresponding sides and see if the multipliers are the same. The multiplier is the scale factor. Here we go. It looks like that's 1 half. If you go this way, it's 1 half. If you go that way, it's times 2. Those are the reciprocals. Either way, it works out. This is a yes. Okay, skip down to these other ones. This one just looks like a uh, flip. And, or no, this is a rotate 180. So corresponding sides, you can see that the three and the two are gonna go together. We can see that the two and the one are gonna go together. And that just doesn't work, does it? Okay, one times two is two. Two times two is four, but we have a three there, so that's a no. And finally, this one, nice and easy, times two, times two, yes. So the trick is finding corresponding sides. On to the next one. <laughs> Which ones show proportional relationships? Okay, same as the last set of problems. Okay, we're looking for uh, the same multipliers here. So, um, I could fill in the table, and you might say, hey, there's a pattern here, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus one, plus one. That just means there's a pattern. It is not proportional, right? Because this is times two and a quarter, and this is times two and one-eighth. So it's close, but not the same multiplier. This is times two and a fifth, right? So this one's a no, but it's kind of tricky. This one's a little easier. One cheeseburger. If this were the same, this would be three times 275, which is 825. So this is a no. This is not proportional. Okay, this one is a no. Why? Because it needs to go through the origin. It needs to go through the origin, which is there. So if you're looking at a line graph and it does not go through the origin, it is not proportional. Okay, so let's skip down to this other graph because then that's easy to see. Since that does go through the origin and it's a straight line, that's a yes, right? Good. Couple left here. Four dogs, 17 bones. Two dogs, eight bones. If I go this way, 
it's times 2. If I multiply 8 by 2, I get 16. So that means no, not proportional. And finally down here, uh, since I have 9 here, 9 between uh, those data points, let's see if I go 0 and 3, there's my pattern, right? And it goes through the origin. Recognize the origin when you see it in a table. 0, 0. So it goes through the origin and it's times 3 all the way across. So that's a yes. We're looking good. We're under 6 minutes and we're on to third problem set out of 4 for this video. Next video will have 4 more problem sets. Okay. We're just going to do cross multiplying here. Okay. You can recognize that this is one third, by the way. So if you see that, then you can see that x is going to equal 12 because they all equal one third. But if we want to cross multiply, you'd go 15 times x on one side, 45 times 4 on the other side. 45 times 4 is 160 plus 20 is 180. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x. We get 180 divided by 15, and you guessed it, it's 12. Next, this one doesn't work out mentally like the first one quite so well, but we can cross multiply. 30 times 15, I think, is 450, but let's check it out. I was right. Amazing. Okay, that's 30 times 15 is how we got that. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x. And that means 4 and 5 tenths. Ooh, did you see that? I saw the 1 half there, so I'm going to avoid that one. I'm going to go to the easy one over here. Maybe, maybe you could see that this is a 3 to 2 relationship. So that x is going to equal 2. If you can't see that, it's okay. Cross multiply. 42 times x, 3 times 28, 42x equals 75 plus 9, 84. Divide both sides by 42, and you guessed it, it's 2. Okay, so step one, if you see the proportional relationship and you can simplify, you can get the answer that way. That's one way of showing your work. If you can do, if you can't see that, do it this way, cross multiply. Same thing here. 16 times x on one side, 1 half times 8 on the other side. Remember, 1 half times 8 is like saying 1 half of 8, which is 4, right? 16x equals 4. Divide both sides by 16, and we get x is a fraction. It is 1 fourth. Whew! Cruising along. Next problem. 21x equals 42. Hopefully you saw that this was a 1 to 3 relationship, so x is going to equal 2. But if you don't see that relationship, cross multiply, divide by the coefficient of x. And you still get the same answer. So different methods, same answer. Both methods are good. Last problem, 12 times x minus 2. That's that. 6 times 3 on the other side times 3 is 18. Distribute the 12. So we have 12 times x and 12 times negative 2. Make a 0 out of the 24, but to legally do that in most states you have to do it to both sides. Then it looks the same as the other problems. Divide both sides by the coefficient of x and we get 3 and a half. Done with that one. Finally, number four, this is the last one in this video. Remember, if this is just going too fast, hit pause or rewind or do something else, okay? There's, there's a way to get all the info. Find the missing side. So first we need the corresponding sides. So there's eight is to six, working this way, as six is to x. Gotta keep them in the same order or it will not work. Okay, cross multiply. 8 times something equals 36. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 4 and a half. That's the missing side. Whew!
Beautiful. Next, uh, we can see that 8 corresponds with x, 2 corresponds with 6. So that's going to be our ratio that we write. 8 over x equals 2 over 6, right? Keeping them in the same order. 2x, I'm running out of room, equals 6 times 8 is 48. So x equals 24. And we could also see this relationship, right? 2 times 4 equals 8, so 6 times 4 is going to equal that. A couple different ways to show your work. It's not required that you use a proportion. You can use anything you want as long as it works and you show your work. Okay? Here we go. Corresponding sides. 6 goes to 12. Oh, we need to find all the missing sides. Woo! 6 goes to 12. And this is 180 degree rotation. So x is going to go here. Can you see why this is 4? Because so we got 12 minus 4 minus 4. This 12 is broken into three equal pieces. So therefore, this is 4. That means x equals 4. OK, so that was all about just finding a corresponding side. Even though my uh, other side was not given to me, it was given indirectly. And finally, our last problem, find both x and y. Oh no, how am I ever going to do this? Okay, first of all, we see that the 20 goes with the 30, and the 7 goes with the x. And since the x's are the same, whatever this answer is will be the same there. So let's figure that out. Um, 20 goes to 30, just like the 7 goes to the x. 20x equals 210. Divide both sides by 20. x equals 10 and a half. Okay. So if x equals 10 and a half, then if I find this, that will be y, right? So 30, this side, minus that, is going to equal y, and that is 19 and a half. Fun! Video number one over. Stay tuned for video number two. Happy studying!